Hi there, my name is Lucas and I'm a DP based in London. I was shooting a show for the past three days and I thought it would be interesting to sit here and talk to you about a little bit of my experience and some of the things that I learned being on set this week. We were shooting a 30 minute pilot episode, but we only had three days to do it. So we had to do as much as we could within those three days. We are talking about creating enormous amount of content and incredibly fast setups. We had two locations, we had a coffee shop, and a flat in the script itself there was many more locations that we had to kind of fake it either within the apartment or within the cafe so with a lot to shoot and little to no time we really had to be efficient with the shots that we we're doing something that i really learned this week was to prep as much as you can so going to the shoot, I knew exactly what I needed to do. I knew exactly the shots I wanted to get and I knew exactly the style that we were going for. So I could really dial in and work with my team to get the best out of the little time we had. And this really highlights how pre-production is important. People take it for granted. They think they're good, great shooters. So when they come to it, they'll shoot it. But understanding your story, understanding what you're shooting, understanding the emotional drive of the story and why the characters are acting a certain way will help you better define what shots, what movements, and what lens you should be using. You don't want to conflict the shot with the emotional drive of the story. And you can only really do that by understanding the story. Do read the script in advance. Advance. Something that I did for this shoot that I've never done before and I found incredibly useful is uh, as I was reading the script for a second or third time, try making a document, breaking down the scene in a couple of sentences that would describe the scene to me. So I would be able to look at this one to two sheet of paper and tell exactly what scene we're at and what's happening in each scene. So if you have a whole discussion scene and a lot of things are happening, you can easily break that down and scene 12, this, this, and this happens. And now because you read the script, this becomes your highlight as a little reminders of what is in the script and what you can do to just bring that with you. So having that paper on hand, having a printed version of the script where we highlighted certain moments that we already done or things are important to get really made me a little more comfortable while we were shooting. I could trust that by following what I already prepped for myself, as long as I was on track of what I set myself to do, everything would be okay. Another thing that was crucial to get this shoot done was trusting your team. I got to work with a camera assistant and having a dynamic, they understanding what you want and understanding where you're going for and you tell them i think we're going to do this this and this and they just going out of their way to get that ready for you or to assist you and getting the right lighting getting the right lens giving you support where they know you need it and also taking care of them you know they are there to give you assistance but it's important for you to realize when they need a break whenever they need a hand with something so creating a good dynamic with, with your team was something that made the, the work a lot faster. Again, with limited amount of time and so much to shoot, you need to be harsh on yourself. You need to do the best you can to get the best take firsthand because you're not going to get 15 takes. You're not going to get to repeat things over and over again because time is running out. It's more important to shoot all the scenes than do each shot perfectly. Sometimes you're gonna have to accept mistakes. Sometimes you have to find ways to cut around it. Sometimes the way you do the coverage is not exactly as you thought you would, but is what fits the scene and what works best with the time you have. I know we all want to paint this picture and create this amazing beautiful frame every time but sometimes the time and the budget doesn't align with all the beautiful ideas that you have and I think that can be a good thing that can pressure you into being creative on the spot I think creativity comes a lot from solving problems and being in a position where time is a problem money is a problem resources is a problem finding ways around it to be ahead of schedule, to blend two shots together. All those things create a new style, create a new look for the film. That's something that really resonated with me that 
there was constantly a certain thing that I would go back to. I would go always go back to having the camera on my shoulder rig. I found that uh, a lot of the intense scenes, it just made sense for me to have the camera on the shoulder with a 35 millimeter on. And that felt like the right look for most of those shots. And sometimes we'll do some dirty shots and the hide behind things and peek and all those things just came together. And even though we had a lot of the shots planned, we knew a lot of what we were gonna do, knowing the story and knowing the equipment and knowing what feeling we were going for made me confident in changing anything on the spot that I knew was gonna work for the story. At the end of it, I think everything looked really good. I think we did an amazing job considering how much time we had. The project is now in post-production and hopefully it will be released soon. Once that out, I will let you know and I'll probably do a video about it, breaking up some of the scenes, some of the setups that we did, uh, and talking a little more detail about what it took to make it. I just wanted to make this quick video to just express and talk about a little bit of the things that are being on my mind this week because it was something so unique but yet so satisfying to do. Whenever we're in pre-production and talking about this project, the idea of to do something this scale in such a little amount of time felt close to impossible. But as we broke down into schedules, broke down each scene, when we had each actor, when we had each space, things just came together and when we went on set we were all focused and ready to go and that resulted in really great shots thank you for watching hit subscribe if you want to see more of these videos that's all i have for you today goodbye